Hello, my name is Elliot Spader. This is plumber Nick Benny. Benny. You got it. Benny. Do you Benny. Want to, we got to redo Benny. it, right? Benny. No, we're good. Let's roll. Oh, we can't roll it now. Yeah, Don't we're good. Do it. There's a little comedy into it. Yeah. Make it, make it, make it work. <laughs> Hi, I'm Elliot Spader, William T. Spader Company. This is Nick Benny, plumber. We're here in downtown Erie, North Park Row, at the Erie Downtown Development Corporation at the new flagship city food market. Let's go inside, take a look. So over in this area of the food market for the first floor, there's going to be kitchen appliances. You're gonna have stove, gas tops, fryers, an oven for the bakery and stuff like that. We had to supply all the gas and to all that equipment. You'll have your hand sinks. We have an Amsel valve over here that we had to pipe in for the Amsel system. Then uh, over here, we have a kitchen, another prep area. There'll be two stainless steel sinks in here. There'll be one over in this corner. There'll be one over here. There's also coolers over here that'll be going in here store all the food and stuff. Over here, we're gonna have a distillery. Uh, I'll take you right over here. There'll be a bar that'll start here. We had to supply water, domestic water, hot and cold, for glass washer, dishwasher, and hand sinks. And we also have an ice machine over there in that corner, and then we'll be supplying water for that. Where we are at now is Gordon's Meat Market. The butcher area will be over here in this room where we had to rough in stainless steel sinks, hand sinks, floor drains and safe wastes for the coolers that'll be right here. And we also have a stainless steel sink right, right here that we have roughed in. Also, we have to cut in a trench drain that will stretch from wall to wall. So when they're cutting up all their stuff, cleaning, it's easier to clean the floors up. We're in the back of the flagship city food market. This back area here is a grocery store for the Whole Foods Co-op. We had some drains to rough in, we had some water lines to rough in. This space in about a few months will be filled with all coolers and freezers and all the food will be back here for the patrons to come in and, and purchase their foods. So right here we have our, our storm piping and our sanitary piping. They both exit the building down there under the stairwell. The sanitary piping comes in and branches off and we pick up our grease interceptor. This thing will fill up with grease and yearly, quarterly, however they decide to do it, they'll come and they'll suck all the grease out of here so everything flows properly through it. And then the grease and the sanitary will run parallel around the building and you have all your branch lines and stuff that come off into the ceiling. Construction schedules are tight, aren't they, Nick? They are very tight. So in order to make our schedules and our deadlines and to make our customers happy, we try to prefabricate anything we can. One of the items we prefabricated here are the above water line racks. We have a hot, cold, and return lines. We fabricated those in our shop, and then we brought them down in the field where the foreman and uh, his crew installed them. We're on the second floor right now. And the second and third floor is where all the apartments are. There's a total of 14 apartments in this complex. Over here, we have a mock-up of one of the apartments. We have your kitchen. Basically, you'll find everything you have in a house. We had to rough in the refrigerator, the kitchen sink, and the dishwasher, but the stove was electric. Electricians took care of that. In the bathroom, obviously, you have a shower, your toilet, and your vanity. This is your own little mechanical room. This is a home run manifold system and you have a, each PEX line goes to each fixture. Thank you for following us around on our tour of the uh, EDDC project. If you liked the video, please share, like, subscribe.